inborn error which is related with phenylalanine and tyrosine metabolism there is black pigmentation uh, in the ear cartilage also sclera some part of the sclera that appears black this homogentiset levels they are they are raised here there is arthritic changes in the joint because of deposition of this pigment so newer drug nitisinone it is given in the treatment of alkaptone urea hello everyone welcome to a discussion of important clinical case that is alkaptone urea this is early clinical exposure series for the first mbbs students for the first professional examination so this is very very important case that is alkaptone urea it belongs to the topic protein metabolism and here sub topic is phenylalanine and tyrosine metabolism so this is important inborn error which is related with phenylalanine and tyrosine metabolism alkaptone urea now see the clinical case a patient came to hospital with chief complaints of black pigmentation of ear nose and forehead black pigmentation of ear nose and forehead routine inves investigations were unremarkable on observation the urine turn black on standing this is a key here the key feature here the urine of the patient turned black on standing this is important clinical feature he also gave history of frequent joint and back pain and x-ray showed osteoporotic changes and dense calcification in the intervertebral disc now what is your probable diagnosis why there is a uh, black urine on standing why there is frequent joint and back pain why there is black pigmentation of ear nose and forehead these features this characteristic features that is black pigmentation and black urine on standing it denotes a particular inborn error which is related with phenylalanine and tyrosine metabolism the disease is known as alkaptonuria alkaptonuria now see here there is black pigmentation uh, in the ear cartilage also sclera some part of the sclera that appears black also fingers they it appears black so black pigmentation is there because of depo deposition of black colored pigment in the tissues in the particularly in the cartilage now here urine of the patient normal pale yellow color urine it is turned dark on standing on exposure to the air this is a characteristic feature of alkaptone urea but now remember this this often goes unnoticed why it goes unnoticed because it takes time for this conversion because this goes unnoticed and this is a benign condition it is usually asymptomatic this is usually asymptomatic in the childhood but after the age of 30 years there is tendency to develop arthritis that causes the joint pain there is tendency to develop arthritis after the age of 30 years because of deposition of alkaptone in the joints also there is tendonitis tendons are affected also cartilage and the intervertebral disc it is affected because of deposition of pigment alkaptone okay now see there are many sub questions related to this clinical case apart from this diagnosis mention the enzyme defect which enzyme is defective here so enzyme defect is homogentiset oxidase what is a cause for dark color of the urine it is because of excretion of alkaptone which gives dark color to the urine why there is joint pain in this disease so because of deposition of alkaptone in the joints it causes arthritis and that causes joint pain now see it is a disease which is related with phenylalanine and tyrosine metabolism now in the phenylalanine and tyrosine metabolism there is intermediate that is known as homogentisic acid so through 
वेरियस स्टेप्स देर इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ होमोजेंटी सेट नाउ दिस होमोजेंटी सेट इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू दिस इज इंटरमीडिएट स्टेप दैट इज होमोजेंटी सेट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू फोर मेलाइल एसिटो एसिटेट इट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू मेलाइल एसिटो एसिटेट this malyl acetic acid is converted into fumaryl acetic acid and it is converted or splits up by the hydrolase into fumarate and acetic acid so fumarate will give you glucose and acetic acid will give you fat that's why this phenylalanine and tyrosine they are both glucogenic and ketogenic amino acid so this disorder alkaptonuria it is related with phenylalanine and tyrosine metabolism now which enzyme is defective here the defective enzyme is homogentiset oxidase homogentiset oxidase this is enzyme defect here homogentiset oxidase it is a dioxygenase type of reaction in which the both the atoms of molecular oxygen it is incorporated into a substrate so homogentiset is converted into malyl aceto acetate and this requires iron this requires iron now if there is block in this step if there is block in this reaction this homogentiset levels they are they are raised here homogentiset level increases and it is diverted this homogentiset it is diverted for the production of by products it is diverted for the production of benzoquinone acetate on oxidation by the polyphenol oxidase it is converted into benzoquinone acetate benzoquinone acetate so it is converted into benzoquinone acetate by the polyphenol oxidase enzyme so by the polyphenol oxidase it is converted into benzoquinone acetate and this benzoquinone acetate on polymerization will form the pigment on polymerization it forms the pigment that is known as alcaptone the name of the pigment it is alcaptone and this alcaptone pigment it is deposited in the various tissues cartilage so this pigment alcaptone it is deposited in the various tissues and that gives black discoloration to the ear nose cartilage it also gives black discoloration in the sclera forehead it deposited into the joints that causes arthritis it is deposited in the intervertebral disc that causes the back pain so alcaptone deposition this is a pigment this is pigment which deposited in the various tissue particularly in the cartilage tendons tendons bones etc also it involves the joints particularly the intervertebral disc jo intervertebral disc they are involved and also larger joints they are involved so they it causes arthritis after the age of 30 years so this this disease it is usually a symptomatic autosomal recessive condition inheritance is autosomal recessive the incidence is 1 in 2 lakh 50000 but usually a symptomatic does not causes any symptom no treatment is needed in the childhood and often goes unnoticed because the turning of urine into black color it takes time so it goes unnoticed so when it is arthritis when patient came to opd for the arthritis and accidentally you found that the urine of the patient turned dark on the standing so an x ray finding is uh, suggestive of the deposition of pigment that gives dense calcification in the intervertebral disc also there is arthritic changes in the joint because of deposition of this pigment okay and the laboratory test generally laboratory tests they are 
for the routine parameters laboratory tests are negative or the normal for routine parameters they are normal but in the laboratory test if you do the ferric chloride test or silver nitrate test these are positive because of strong reducing property of homogentic acid so ferric chloride and silver nitrate test they are positive but confirmatory diagnosis of inborn errors of metabolism it is done by the tms that is tandem mass spectrometry tandem mass spectrometry spectrometry so this is the technique which is based on detection of uh, analyte on the basis of their mass to charge ratio and this is confirmatory test for the diagnosis of many inborn errors which are related with the amino acid metabolism also the combination of gcms that is gas chromatography and mass spectrometry is needed and standard method for detection of inborn errors related with the amino acid metabolism so tandem mass spectrometry and gcms that is gas chromatography mass spectrometry combination these are the done routinely for the detection of inborn errors of metabolism so this is a case of alkaptone urea there is formation of alkaptone because of high level of homogentisate there is blocked in this enzyme level that is homogentisate oxidase this is dioxygenase type of reaction there is formation of pigment alkaptone and it is excreted in urine that's why it is known as alkaptone urea on exposure to air this homogentisate or this this compound alkaptone it it gives black color to the urine and deposition of this pigment into various tissues give black discoloration and also give the arthritic changes generally treatment is not needed for the alkaptone urea only symptomatic treatment is needed for the arthritis only symptomatic treatment so nitisinone is the drug treatment of is symptomatic treatment for arthritis so symptomatic treatment for arthritis is needed so newer drug nitisinone it is given in the treatment of alkaptone urea also it is given in the neonatal tyrosinemia so it decreases the level of parahydroxyphenyl pyruvate hydroxylase and decreases the production of homogentisic acid and reduces the symptoms nitisinone is the drug newer drug which is given in the treatment of alkaptone urea generally the symptomatic treatment for the arthritis the nacids they are required to treat the arthritis so this is all about the alkaptone urea thank you